The Brierly family have something to test the musical talents of accordion expert Roger Thomas. Because Sarah's the musician of the family. Right? Oh, so you can play this then, Sarah? Well, I would like to. It was my mum's, right. who is yeah. now 94. And do you know when she got this one? When she was 17, okay. she came home with her first week's wages, and her mum went and put it down as a deposit for them to buy this. So it was actually brand new when they bought it. So I'm just trying to do the maths. So, how so much she's 94, so it's just under 80 years old, isn't okay. it? Roger is one of just a handful of specialist accordion restorers in the UK, but can he get this antique instrument playing sweet music once more? You can uh, hear that really high note. Yeah. Because it shouldn't make that really high pitched noise. No, should it? no, it's very annoying yeah. actually. Yeah, because you can't actually play it either. Yeah, it's like a cat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it doesn't yeah. sound right. No. No. Okay. These keys that are popping up, they look like they're kind yeah. of right. You can deal with Straight that kind of. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful nice. instrument, isn't it? But the story that my mum, you know, about the accordion is my mum used to play it during the war, during the Blitz. Oh, wow. In the shelters. Really? So they used to go, uh, obviously, underground yeah. and play to keep, keep really? people's spirits up. So really... what does she think this is, then? Does she know this is here today? She doesn't know. She doesn't know anything about it. She no. doesn't know anything Seriously? about it. Yeah. And, in fact, she last time she saw Sarah, she said, how are you getting on with my... <laughs> Sarah then says, oh. Oh, Dad. <laughs> it's Dad says, she knows it's broken yes. and she's been nagging for a couple of years now for me to get it done. So what would this mean to Mum to actually get this repaired then? Oh, she'd be really pleased. Yeah. Wouldn't she? I think yeah. really yeah. she'd like me to be able to play it. So it's always a bit kind of entering into the unknown when you open up one of these to take a look inside. And take the grill off. An accordion works by blowing air from the bellows across the reeds inside. The notes are determined by which keys and buttons are pressed. Roger's detective work reveals a problem straight away. Well, I can deduce from this that one of the pallets has fallen off, and that, look, there's the pallet. This is a pallet. It's a leather and felt sandwich, and when you operate the bellows, it forms an air seal, and this is why we're getting the, the sound when you... <whistles> the dead cat sound. The other thing I need to do is just give this leather a bit of a brush. I can glue that back on there. I then can give it a, a, a full test so I can test all the notes to see whether there are any other sounds that we don't want. Roger's realigning all the keys on the keyboard and making sure none are leaking air. But the parts are nearly 80 years old and one false move now could spell disaster. If I broke one of these levers, it would be a bit of a problem. I'm not going to. <laughs> now restored to its former glory, Sarah and Howard are ready to reveal the accordion to its original an unsuspecting owner, 94-year-old Iris. <laughs> well, we've got a surprise lined up, in case you hadn't guessed. Yeah. Oh, you had it fixed? Yeah. Because there was a key sticking up here. Yeah, it was this um, one, I think, wasn't it? And then when you opened it, it was the note was... Yeah, permanent noise, yeah. yeah. Must be ten years since I lose that. Mm. But it's it's all in working order now. Do you want to see Sarah play it? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs>